So you were having a problem getting your backlinks indexed? Well, this video is for you. Um, getting your backlinks indexed is one of the most important steps of SEO because if your backlinks are not indexed, then there's a very good chance that Google will not um, reward you for those backlinks and you will not be able to link. You, you, want, you would not be able to rank. So um, this is a problem I've encountered myself and there are a few steps I take to, to overcome this issue. Um, the most important thing before I get into the video is to like and subscribe the video. Um, if you found the video helpful, please leave a comment below. If you have a question too, leave a comment below. Now, one of the reasons why your backlinks are not indexed is because they're low quality backlinks. And um, I'm not just talking about that the domain has a, you know, a low PA or DA or a mass score or whatever. Um, apart from that, you've posted on a domain that does not get any traffic. Um, after the recent uh, host of updates from Google, if if your guest posted on a domain that does not get traffic, there's a very good chance that um, that article or the blog post is is is, is not going to get indexed. And the reason is that Google sees that as a low value website, um, and this could be regardless of however good your article is. Now, um, if it's if your if if I was doing backlinks in which I often do for clients. I always go for, uh, even if even if it's a low uh, P or D, I always go for a domain that has a high P A and D A in, in addition to it receiving a great deal of traffic. So if it at least receives five to 600 visitors, I would say, okay, this is worth my time and worth my money to uh, post on uh, the blog. If it's not, then, you know, if it does not get traffic, I don't care however good um, the PRDA is because it's very easy to fake those statistics. This is assuming that you've posted your um, your 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 article or your guest post or your niche uh, or your niche edit on a uh, page or a website that is that is receiving a fair amount of traffic and it's a credible website. Um, so this tutorial assumes this. Now there are quite a few steps that you need to work through, um, and and each one of these work perfectly. So. The first thing you'd want to do is you'd want to take the link that you have earned and you would want to um, paste it into your uh, Facebook page. Now, if you own, if you have a Facebook profile, um, you know you should have, you should also have a Facebook Facebook page for your business. So, if it's your business's Facebook page, make sure number one it's public and number two that it has been around for a while because Google enjoys uh, social media, just like anyone else. So um, if you don't have a uh, Facebook page associated with your website, then create one and wait a few weeks before Google will actually start indexing that page. Now, once you've created the page, uh, you know, paste the article, a link to the article into your, in, into that page. Um, and you put in a comment like I just you know mentioned I just wrote this article and this is the article that I wrote and it's helpful and blah 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 just so that it looks real to Google and post that on your Facebook page. Um, once you've done that and you go ahead and share that article on a few groups and forums uh, on Facebook. So if you're let's say a member of an SEO group or if you're a member of a writing group or if you're a member of a football group and it is it is related to that group go ahead and post that link onto that group. Make sure that it does not uh, violate the guidelines of the group. Uh, doing that tells Google that this is a link of value and that it should not only just crawl the link, but it should also index the link. And once that, Google, once that link is crawled and indexed, um, you'll, you'll get credit for it as well from Google. Now, obviously Google does not tell you that it'll give you credit, but you know, you will get credit. Okay, the second thing you'd need, you'd wanna do is, after you've done this, wait a week. If it if you see that the link is still not indexed and yeah, you know, it's now visible and you've not received credit for it from Google, the next step is to post that link on Dig and Dig and uh, Reddit. Now, if you don't have a Dig and Reddit account, create one. Ideally, this should be an aged uh, Reddit account. Um, you can buy age Reddit accounts on Fiverr and you know, Black Hat Forum and, stuff, and places like that. Um, make sure that it is an aged Reddit account, ideally three to five years uh, old. Um, uh, site indexing generally can be accelerated by uh, publishing posts that uh, link to new met page and social media sites like they can read it. Uh, Google uh, tends to spot and scan uh, through the URLs on such sites a lot faster, but even so, it takes them one or two days to get the job done. If you have 
a lot to say about your site or that link uh, you know let the world know just talk about that link share that link um, and it will go viral and this is another reason why you should write a good quality article even if it's a even if it's for a guest blog post because you're going to be sharing it um, Google does not just index uh, articles on uh, on websites uh, even if it's medium or you know uh, something similar okay so the next thing you'd want to do and this is something you need to be a really little bit careful with is to ping um, the website um, what, what many people do is that they will ping uh, the website the, the, the URL that they've created and they'll ping it like multiple times and they'll do it every day um, no you should not do it if you're using an online service like pingdom do not ping your website multiple times just do it once if it's your own website and just do it once if it's a website uh, where you've posted a guest blog post this is sort of like a last resort if every if everything you've, above you've done if, if it's not work this is like a last resort um, and because for the reason reason if you overdo it Google will see you as spamming um, if, you, if you make sure only to, you shall make sure only to do it if it's fresh content um, you know if it's old content don't do it uh, fresh content is some is defined as if you've created a link between the last uh, a month or month and a half you can you can use this technique uh, pinging basically alerts search engines like Google letting them know immediately about a piece of content uh, search engines can run into difficulties when looking for pages uh, on your website and pinging is a great way to do it um, and this goes for even if it's your own website or if you have a website where you've guest posted um, you normally I wouldn't ping my own website okay when you uh, ping a website it you know it will tell you if it got a 404 if, or if the ping was successful um, you can use services like Pingomatic, Pingler, or and Pingcode. Uh, just use one service, um, and don't use all three services. So just 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 make a choice. Um, now, uh, this is if you want to uh, index your uh, backlinks. Um, but if you want to have your own website indexed, uh, make sure that uh, for starters that your uh, website is technically uh, is, is technically sound. Um, then submit your X XML map file to Google Search Console. Um, this shouldn't take more than a few seconds. But for the past three months, I've been observing that Google takes a long time to index some sites. It may crawl, but it might not index. So once you have all the above in place, you've submitted your XML map and everything, um, you can now pull up, pull out the big guns. And my big guns is, you know, start by, you know, submitting your latest articles or your latest pages to uh, Facebook via the Facebook page. Um, you'd also want to improve the speed of your website, and this is your website, and this is not a backlink. Um, you can you can improve the speed because what what what's happening now is um, Google is looking at websites, and Google is seeing you know that this is probably not a website. Uh, you know, I, I want to index because it it offers a bad user experience, so it might crawl. And this is some this is a complaint I get a lot. It might they, Google might crawl your website, but it will not index it. Um, and the and the biggest reason why this is is because it, it, it sees your website as being uh, not user friendly or slow. So for starters, make sure that your site speed is good, um, and because that's a ranking factor now. And also, your accelerated mobile pages are working correctly. So if your website isn't loading fast enough, it's time to speed it up. You can run a speed test to check your website speed, and not just your website speed, but the website speed of every page on your website. So. Once that's done, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, you're, in most cases, like 75% of the cases, your website should be indexed. So uh, the next step is, is to improve your internal link structure. And I did a video about this, uh, how to rank for difficult keywords. You can follow that same structure to improve the structure of your website. Uh, make sure that all your pages are indexable or all the pages that you want to be indexed are indexable. Um, that way the web crawlers are able to like, go from one page to the other and then they'll be able to index the page um, Just follow the video. It's just very easy um, And this should help you get indexed and then if all of this does not work and you've gone through one two three Then you can use the technique I talked about like submitting your uh, Your URL to dig and reddit uh, and pinging your website, which again I would not be highly in favor of now there is a third uh, there is a final technique that I use and it has been very successful in, in, in the past few uh, weeks is I have submitted a uh, an image um, to 
uh, Instagram and I have uh, indexed that image. Uh, and that has worked like that has worked like a charm. So I've got a video on Instagram. You can just follow that, but in, but you know, use an image that you that's yours, like an infographic or something similar, and that should help you get that image onto uh, on, onto Instagram. And then make sure that the Instagram page that you have is public, and then share that image on Instagram. Um, use an age account if you can, if you can find one, if you can buy one, use an age account, and that will help you get that would get your website indexed as well. So as always, if you have a question, feel free feel free to leave a like, a comment below. Um, a token of appreciation is um, if you can leave a kind comment. If you have a question too, I'll respond. I've been taking a few days off uh, as of late because I wasn't feeling well, but I'm back on the horse. So uh, coming up uh, later this week, I think it's gonna be somewhere around the weekend, which is gonna be about cluster articles. A lot of people do cluster articles, but they do it incorrectly. So this is the correct way to do cluster articles. And this will help you rank for, you know, this will help you create topical authority. So see you in the next video.